Time to play! Alright, well... If that's what you want... Let's dream! Farewells. Sweet dreams. Of course. Orders for me. Let's dream. Spring is sprung. All right. If that's what you want, I'll do my best. Well. Yes. Say night night. I'm listening for peace. Beautiful. <laughs> of course. Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another Camilla Emblem Clear video for Fire Emblem Heroes, and today we're taking on Gaul, Azure Rider, in his very own Grand Hero Battle on Infernal difficulty. So Gaul comes with Guard Lance Plus, which of course is going to be able to negate your ability to gain special charge against him. Also comes with Dragon Fang on a zero turn cooldown, which means that if he is able to initiate combat against you, or on enemy phase, he is going to be able to proc that special has Brazen Attack Defense 3, has Odd Attack Wave 3, and these are all skills that he comes with, and then they decided to slap Guard Bearing 3 on him as well, which is a very appropriate fit. That, of course, means that during the first combat of any enemy phase, and every enemy phase, uh, for him, if the foe initiates combat against him and he's enemy phasing, it reduces damage from that first attack by 50%. So it does give him some considerable tankiness overall. Now, Gaul being a flyer, of course, would favor wide open spaces, and that's exactly what we're going to see here. Very favorable terrain for flyers in general. There are some tree wooded areas, there's some mountainous areas, but beyond that, the, nothing that a flyer group would really have to worry about. And of course, Gaul is leading his own kind of squadron up here with an axe dragon and a sword knight. Down here in the corner, hiding in the woods, is this green bow user. You also have this red flyer in the wings, and then you have a lance cavalier down here, a, a medley and variety of different colors, weapons types and movement types. So all that being said, it's a grand hero battle, infernal difficulty, really not all that difficult and relatively straightforward. Nothing really to write home about or be worried about with respect to movement shenanigans or forces coming in from different sides. You have Gaul's tankiness, his zero turn, Dragon Fang, 
Um, and then you have a bunch of guard effects available and null effects. But aside from that, there's really not much else to the map. So we decided to have a little bit of fun with this one and clear it entirely with All Vanilla right. Camilla, or really with only Vanilla Camilla attacking. Uh, she's the only one that's going to be doing damage uh, on the map. She is going to be supported, though. So it's a, like a supported solo. So let's take a closer look at her here. So we got Bewitching Beauty Camilla, plus 10 speed asset, has her Camilla's Axe with special refine. Reposition Aether for the special, Distant Counter for the A slot, Quick Repose 3 for the B slot, Threaten Attack 3 for the C, and Iote Shield for the Seal. So this is supposed to make her an all-rounder so she can actually tank all of the threats on the opposing team, and it works, it works to that effect. Uh, up next, we've got Spring, Spring Princess Spring. Camilla here. So Spring Camilla is plus 10, Speed Asset, 5 Dragon Flowers, has Gron Raven, Triangle Adept, Vantage, uh, Reposition, Draconic Aura, and really what, what matters in the context of this map is Goad Flyers and Drive Defense 2 to boost the defensive stats of Vanilla Camilla. We've got Adrift Camilla, Flower of Fantasy Camilla, merged at plus 10 with an attack asset, Book of Dreams, Reposition, Draconic Aura, Attack Res Bond 3, Desperation, and Ward Flyers for the C-slot, as well as Distant Guard 3 for the seal. So these two down here being the important skills in the context of buffing Vanilla Camilla. If that's what you want. And finally, we have Light of Nora Camilla, Brave Camilla, merged at plus 10 with an attack asset, 5 Dragon Flowers, Native Sangreether, Rescue Plus, Miracle, Attack Speed Push 4, Wrathful Staff 3, and then again, the two skills that matter, Goad Flyers, as well as Close Guard 3. So for this strategy, I decided to engage on the lower group down here in the wooded area first, and uh, there are basically two optimal enemy phase spots for that partic this particular group, uh, if you want to kind of partition the types of damage that you're going to be taking with one particular unit. So this tile right here is going to is in the danger range of both the Red Flyer and the Lance Cavalier, and then this danger this uh, danger zone tile right here can be engaged by both the Red Flyer and the Green Bow. So kind of pick your poison, which one you want to start out with, and which one gives you the most flexibility for the following turn. As I said, I started down here, and we're just going yes. to shift Vanilla Camilla into this spot. So she's in that range, and we're just going to provide all of those defensive and offensive buff supports. Decided to go with in-combat buffs for this map, because there's a lot of skills that negate activated buffs on this map. So just decided to go with the tried and true in-combat buffs instead. And of course we take out the Red Flyer on that engagement and in the process do considerable damage to the Lance Cavalier. We can't double the Lance Cavalier because he has Instant Lance Plus. So if he's initiating combat, he has the ability to negate the follow-up attack of his opponent. Now we do have Quick Repost on Vanilla Camilla, but because she got hit by that Red Flyer, her health went below the threshold for Quick Repost, unfortunately. So she can't double, but that's fine because she can just take him out right now, right. activate Ether in the process, and get some of that health back. And now on this turn, we want to be able to take out the green bow as well, and we're positioned to do that. So we're going to use a Drift Camilla to reposition Vanilla Camilla into the danger zone so she can enemy phase the green bow user. We're going to top off her health with Brave Camilla here, and we're just going to, again, situate ourselves behind Vanilla Camilla and provide her with all of the buffs that she needs. So she's going to tank this just fine. She's going to double back. She's not going to get the kill, unfortunately, just shy of the kill range but that's totally okay. So what we're going to do is just finish right. off the green bow right now. Uh, and now we just want to that's use want. Brave Camilla to heal, but we don't want to pull Vanilla Camilla out of the range of, uh, of both of the attacking party. So we're just going to do a little double reposition action and then use Rescue Plus to pull Vanilla Camilla back and give her a little heal so she can uh, take on the, the uh, incoming forces, including Gaul, take him out on enemy phase and then also uh, do some considerable damage to the Axe Flyer, and now she can finish her off on player phase right now. So that's perfect. So now we've basically won at this point. Uh, at this point, all we have to do is just kind of fall back a little bit and heal as the Sword Flyer makes her approach. Sword Flyer has Fire Sweep, bow, uh, Fire Sweep Sword, so we can't enemy phase her, so we're just going to have to rely on uh, on player phasing and just kind of sticking behind and continuously taking. And that's basically what we're going to be doing here. Um, it's just a, at this point, it's just a battle of attrition. Um, we're going to charge up our ether, do a good bit of damage, heal up, um, take the next attack, and then uh, and then continue to to wait until we can bide our time and take her out. So, uh, so here we are. Now we can just finish off the sword flyer, and the sword dragon goes down. 
And that's it, easy peasy. So that is the strategy that I employed with Vanilla Camilla to clear Gaul as your rider on his very own Infernal Grand Hero battle. Let me know in the comments below what strategies and teams you ended up using to clear this Infernal level challenge. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. We thank you all so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really, really do appreciate it. Certainly hoping you're all staying safe, healthy, secure, and united out there and wishing the very, very best for you, your family, and your friends. And until next time, let's predict those skies.